Hi, my name is Elian He. I'm a cellist and I'm currently based in Manchester. I first found out that uh, I was a finalist of the Australian Cello Awards when Roland Grittiger uh, sent me an email. It was, I remember at about 11 or 10 or 11 p.m. It was very late at night and uh, I assume it was the time difference asking me to call him as soon as I could. So uh, I think I just arrived at home and I had to throw everything on the floor. I thought, oh, I better give him a call. Something might be wrong. I gave him a call and that's when he told me that I was uh, selected as a finalist. Of course, uh, it felt great. I was very, very pleased and uh, I was actually very, um, very happy and grateful that he told me over the phone rather than an email. I was personally very, very pleased that Australian Cello Award was able to give the competitors an, a choice between submitting all their applications and uh, recordings online or via snail mail. I believe it uh, is a very good, solid way forward to be able to use online submission saves a lot of time, no matter where in the world you are, and certainly saves a lot of uh, courier costs. I very much enjoyed the participating in the round two of the competition, especially because it was based in London, so it wasn't too far from me. I, uh, the hall's lovely, and to be able to see the other contestants, whom I pretty much knew quite well uh, from from the past, uh, it, it's it's a real treat. The video uh, recordings and the photography didn't bother me too much. Uh, actually, they were very kind uh, and discreet, I have to say. Uh, during the rehearsals, they really didn't get in the way. And to be honest, I didn't mind. Uh, I think mostly because everybody's uh, spirits were running high, they're about to perform. And so they were thinking very, well, very focused about what they're gonna play. Well, I must say the lead time between the application deadline and the first round was rather short. I remember there was a bit of scrambling to get all the documents together and uh, I think there was a lot of practicing, of course. So as a result, a, a lot of decisions actually had to be made uh, regarding what works I could record that I wouldn't sound too incompetent on <laughs> what am I doing to prepare for round three? Uh, I, I'm, I'm practicing and I, I guess I'm eating well and I exercise regularly. <laughs> but uh, the finals were, were decidedly different. The, the big gap of time between the second round and the finals meant that I could focus on a set of repertoire with uh, my pianist Yasmin and me in mind for a balanced program as well as something that uh, would excite audiences and still myself as well. I'm very much looking forward to traveling back to Australia to perform in the finals in Sydney, to be able to see my family, see my friends, and show Yasmin more of Australia and uh, what it, what a great country it really is.